Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is Weekend Today in New York. And up next, gearing up for barbecue season. <laughs> yeah, but we're switching things up a bit. We're going to show you how to pair gin with meat. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Red Ash Shake Grill, Memorial Day is just two weeks away, and everybody's getting ready to fire up the barbecue and show off your grilling expertise, right? But this year, you might want to put aside the burgers and beer. Instead, kick it up a notch and impress your guests with gin and meat. A little steak, maybe? Joining us this morning, James Moreland, the Bombay Sapphire Master Mixologist, and Antonio Prontelli. He's the executive chef right here at the Rock Center Cafe. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. How are you? Great, great. So who knew that gin and meat had this this rich history? Who knew, right? Yeah. Um, if we go back a few years and look at the classic era where um, the consumer really enjoyed that cocktail, mm-hmm. it was steak and martini. That was like right. the classic... That was the classic dinner. Mm-hmm. Memorial Day, we're looking more for a daytime cocktail. Um, we're going to work off the Collins. But the reason that, the, that gin works so well with meat is because gin is predominantly made up of a lot of the herbs and spices that chefs tend to use to either season or marinate or rub on steak. And Really? Yeah, and, and gin has that backbone to actually carry something as robust as the steak. I would not have thought that. So you have mixed up a, a wonderful dish here for us today. But what are those ingredients that... that uh... So what we did is we, we took we took like one of the main ingredients, going with the botanicals of the gin, which, uh, which is juniper berries. Juniper berries. So we took juniper berries and fennel seed, which mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of. Mm-hmm. And obviously we want to play on the citrus, the citrus aspect of it. So we put some lemon pepper salt. Mm. So we took the juniper berries and the fennel seed and we toasted it to get all the oils out. Then we put them in a spice grind they grinded it all together, mixed it in with some sea salt and some lemon pepper salt, and what you have is a very aromatic spice mix for mm-hmm. steak. Mm-hmm. Now, this could work for steak, this could work for lamb, you could put this on pork, you could put it, put it on chicken. It's strong enough to withstand mm-hmm. and hold up to steak and lamb, but mild enough because of the citrus to go with the pork and your chicken dishes. And so you want to make us a little classic cocktail it's to a classic with that, cocktail. right? It's, to go with it's, it. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a Sapphire Collins. Mm-hmm. The drink's probably 100 years old. Mm-hmm. It is um, almost like lemonade. Um, we are using Bombay Sapphire today. Mm-hmm. It has 10 botanicals in it. The juniper berries in there, the lemon peel that he's using, uh, the coriander that he's used are all found in Bombay Sapphire. I did not know um, that. It's extremely aromatic, mm-hmm. which works extremely well with this. So we're basically starting off with a lemonade. This is equal parts lemon juice and sugar. Um, fresh lemon, half a lemon will do. Fresh. If you don't have simple syrup at home, it's just two bar spoons of regular sugar, sugar. And, w- and water, right? And water, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's basically this is a perfect like uh, a Memorial Day weekend, right? This is right? a great. This is a great barbecue you, cocktail. I mean, you could have three or four of these out there, and you'd be completely fine. You'd be completely fine. You'd be completely, you'd be completely, you'd be completely flat. No, not not with issue with it. That's why you have to have no. some meat with that. Yeah, exactly. Absorb it, right? Face. <laughs> So a master mixology. Oh, and, and you're adding club, club soda, soda to top it off. To top um, it off. It opens it up. Oh. It relaxes the cocktail a little bit. Adds a little bit of spirit. Mm-hmm. Shake it up. Stir it up. That, that's the question. Shake it or stir? You stir this one. You always um, stir this one? You stir this one. Why? You, you, so. you, 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 because it's got just lemon juice in it and it mm-hmm. doesn't have um, a lot of the other flavors that you need to, you need to pound like a punch. Mm-hmm. Um, this is just, it's very delicate. You just want to give it a nice stir. It has some uh, club soda over the top. Mm-hmm. Uh, opens it up a little bit. Um, and it's extremely relaxing. It's perfect for a Sunday afternoon. It sounds like it's a perfect. perfect drink for a Sunday afternoon. Now, you said you can pair this with lamb or, or, or some other kind of meat yes, as, as, as well, Antonio. But uh, but if you're grilling on a, you know, outside, it's a hot day, you know, you're drinking your lemonade, <clears throat> your lemonade. What else What else <laughs> would you might want to serve with this? Oh, we could, you, could, you could put the spice mix on just about every meat. Oh. Like, like I was saying, it's, you know, you have the juniper berries and the fennel, which are pretty predominant flavors, mm-hmm. so it'll hold up with meat. Mm-hmm. But the citrus undertones mm-hmm. will go very well with chicken or pork. Up with, or pork. So it, it's a versatile spice, which you can use it on most things. And then at the end, once you grill it up and you slice it up, ah. you give a little sprinkle over it, oh, which nice. really makes it pop. So you, it really ties the drink and your item together. A nice arugula salad you got going nice, there. Nice and light, very summery. That with a nice cocktail. Who's better than you? Long way from the <laughs> Mamaleones, huh? <laughs> remember those days. Right here, remember those days, I right? do, the very, pasta, very fondly. It started as a pasta dough. Well, you know, we should taste this. Erica, would you like to join me? Oh. John, I, I don't, don't want to drink alone, <laughs> gentlemen. Uh, and, and a toast to the Memorial Day weekend. It's Bombay Gin, it's good stuff. Now, are, are, is there anything else that you would uh, suggest for a, a, to accompany a dish as, such as it this? called? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Looks what, great. What else might you want to um, have with a dish with this uh, drink, darling? Sure. 
Cheers, everybody. Happy Cheers. Memorial Cheers. Day. Happy Memorial I guess Day. nothing. Just yeah, more just of this. Drink. All right. It is just lemonade, right? It is just lemonade. Coming up next, thank you both gentlemen for joining us coming in this morning. Antonio, James, thank you so You're much. Welcome. The mixologists, the master mixologists. Up next, the sweet sounds of jazz.